Um, but he, he does a fantastic job. Most of the care, a lot of the characters have been recast. I already mentioned Kirk Thornton, uh, replacing, uh, Roger Craig Smith for Siegfried, which I think actually Kirk Thornton is probably the best Siegfried because he sounds like a mix of Roger Craig Smith and Crispin Freeman, who is the actor who played Siegfried before him. And of course, he also voices Nightmare. Raphael, I think, is the same guy. Amy's the same chick because she has voiceover dialogue. Uh, I think, like, I think, like, Sophitia and whatnot are... Cervantes, I think, is the same person, because he was in Soul Calibur V. Uh, Ray Chase voices Mitsurugi instead of uh, the guy they had before. And it's a different kind of Mitsurugi, too, because he's younger. Um, And they kind of... They sort of do this thing where, like, I don't know, maybe, like, he doesn't really understand foreign language that well, because he'll, like... Like, instead of Nightmare, he'll say Night of Mare. And when, he's, when you're... When you tell him about the uh, astral fissures, he calls them fishies. He calls Geralt Gerald. It's like, that Gerald guy, huh? Um, but, yeah, so Aswell's like the antagonist, more or less. And he's the guy you ultimately uh, end up f- uh, facing in Libra of Soul, or one of them, because there's more to the story. But basically, you cross paths with... Uh, first, you cross paths with Aswell's goons, who are working for him and are trying to be all enlightened and shit. And then you meet the Aval group, where you meet up with Gro. Um, and uh, he, you, you end up joining forces with him because you guys have realized that you know Aswell's up to no good. It's in your best interest to like go ahead and take the Astral Fissures because even if you know it's not really what the Aval organization wants, it's better because like at least Aswell won't get them, even though he's been getting others as well. So you go through, and it's basically sort of like a race to like get all the astral fissures. And uh, when you finally decide to confront Aswell and Ostrinsberg, uh, Gro decides, well, the only way I can really beat him is if I unleash my full manifestation powers, just like full on, and let it kind of take me. And so he does that and does some pretty heavy damage to Aswell, and they both fall into like a little ravine thing. And you think the battle's won, but it turns out Aswell survived. And so, uh, and he's, uh, gotten pretty close to being full power, so you bas- you have to go fight him. And you do that, and the day is won, once you've finally been, which that took me forever. To the game's credit, I didn't really grind that much. The way, the way you do, like, random battles and the way you, uh, do side quests is kind of weird, because, like, you can't really move around the map freely, but there's this thing you can do called Explore the Area, where you can take a little cursor thing and move around the map, and it charges you based on how far you go and what you go across. Like, if you go across a mountain or a river, it'll, like, up the charge and whatnot. And that's kind of interesting, because then, like, you have to, like, go to certain places that you can fast travel to to try to figure out, hey, like if I go if I go to this place from this area, it's going to be cheaper versus going through it from this way. Like, trying to go anywhere... From Ostreisberg is a pain because there are all these mountains that are like in the way. Um, I think it would have been better if they just let you kind of take the cursor all over the place, like on your own, and then maybe take out the whole like you know money thing involved with it. That's what I would have done because it just seemed like kind of a pain, and like you, you kind of have to go out of your way to sort of explore and fight people, which that's how you like gain levels and whatnot. And, um, you also uh level up your weapon um, abilities. I ended up getting my weapon to like the highest level. I took, I used Geralt's uh, fighting style because I was really comfortable with him. Um, and that unlocks a master mode, or a master battle that you have to do. And I think you get a really strong weapon after you beat it. I haven't beaten it yet because it got really hard. Like The difficulty really spiked up. I've had to kind of it almost kind of felt like I was playing Soul Calibur 2 for the first time where I was, I was being a little more cautious. And I wasn't really doing too many, like, advanced techniques that I normally do. Because that's one thing I like about Soul Calibur, how uh, easy it is to do, like, more advanced moves. And it's more about, like, the kind of attacks you do, like, make sense based on what buttons you press. And I felt like it really worked well. You can kind of play around with how you fight a little bit. Plus the whole, you know, eight-way run thing really works well. But uh, after you defeat Aswell, some time passed, and... 
literally your character's all like, hey, you know, if Aswell's still alive, I wonder if Gro's still alive. And it turns out he was. Could you go on a journey and you find him? And he's basically been taken over by the Malfestation, so you have to fight him to kind of get him out of his senses. And you use the power of whatever sword you uh, take from... Uh, um, because they kind of gave you a choice between Soul Calibur and Soul Edge. It's part of like the spirit scales thing where like based on what you choose to be like either a nice guy or a bad guy, it leads you more towards um, either sword, which makes sense. And some of them are pretty... Uh, I say some of them, but all of them are really like... They, like, they show you what... Like, oh, this, this one will lead you more towards uh, Soul Calibur and this one will lead you more towards Soul Edge. I almost would have preferred not to know. Because some of them like... During the astral figures, like they give you a choice, like touch the touch soul caliber or touch soul. It's like, well, obviously, if you pick one of the.